Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. Well, I hope you got a chance to at least get outdoors and enjoy the bright sunshine and drier air. I mean, Saturday, really wet, dreary, chilly. Sunday, at least, it was dry, sunny, and chilly. Yeah, the cool air in place. And in your weather headlines, that tops things off. Tumbling temperatures again as we go through the overnight hours into the early morning of Monday. Readings in many locations could drop into the upper 30s. Bright blue skies, though, on the way, not just for Monday, but as you'll see in the seven day for several days in a row as they will continue to be dry days. Precipitation free going into the record books on this date. Officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International, 52 degrees is all we could muster up for a high 41 the low. Well, the averages are 70 and 51, so you can see just how far away from average we were. I mean, almost 20 degrees below where we should be this time of year and nowhere near those records. 91 set back in 1925 for the high in 33 degrees, the chilly record low in 1889. Some of our neighborhood high temperatures fared just a little bit better, but still well below average for this time of year. 62 for you fine folks who join us in Whitewater, closer to 60, 59 in Beaver Dam and 60 degrees on the nose in Fondy but most of the day in the 50s for all of us across southeastern Wisconsin. And here's a look at our maps. A high pressure anchored just up to our north and east, providing that northeasterly component to the wind, keeping things even chillier right along the lake. And this cool, dry air mass coming in from Canada will remain in place for days to come as this high pressure supported by a ridge in the upper levels of the atmosphere blocks any advancement of any significant storminess. There's a weak little wave in the atmosphere off to our west, but watch what happens as we set this in motion. It just kind of falls apart as it runs into this cool, dry air blocking uh, mechanism. And I think that's going to be the case as we go right through the start of the week with bright sunshine uh, through Tuesday. A close in view on southeastern Wisconsin future forecast showing just some thin clouds during the overnight hours as that weak disturbance uh, spreads uh, those high and mid level clouds toward us. But other than that, we clear out very quickly as we head toward tomorrow. And if you're traveling around the Badger State for tomorrow, grab your sunglasses and your windbreaker north, central and south. It'll be bright but chilly. So your storm team forecast for the overnight hours expect to see mainly clear to partly cloudy skies seasonally cold down to the upper 30s for your Monday. Looks like it's going to be mostly sunny, but still a bit breezy and still very cool with highs only near 58. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. Bright sunshine, dry air in place through midweek. When the warming trend begins, we could see 74 by Thursday and mid 70s on Friday as well.